Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. This is my YouTube video channel where I work on all things related to jazz and tap dance. We're working on tap dance instructional videos right now, and we're going to continue with that today. Today we're working on a new step, and that's the riffle, R-I-F-F-L-E. And the riffle is actually partly a riff, and then also the last half of a shuffle, which is the spank back. So we're going to put that together to make three sounds as part of the riffle. And um, it's a pretty easy step, but we really need to execute it a proper way. So we'll work on that in just a moment, okay? Here we go. This is the riffle. Okay, now with the riffle, I'm going to start with a riff coming out, a toe heel with one movement. And then I'm going to hit the brush on the way back, just the spank back, to be my third sound. So with three sounds, I have three sounds. Now at a slow tempo, we can really segment it and go tap, tap, brush, tap, tap, brush. Once we go faster, it becomes one individual movement to make that work. So I'm not going to stop, stop, stop. I'm going to brush my way through it. An important thing is when we do the riff fall is to not pull the toe back and lift the leg high. Okay, that's going to kill your riffle. What we want to do is keep the ankle slightly relaxed and flexed and bring it up just off the floor, right to there, rather than, so if you're picking way up in the back, you're going to find that it's hard to do this, okay? It should be an easy movement, and as we go faster and faster, it really becomes from the knee, not from the ankle only, okay? So it's actually a movement of the knee. So that's our riffle, three sounds. If I try it on the other side with the left, that was segmented. Now if I put it together with just two movements of the leg, and we have the riffle from there. Now we can take that riffle across. If I want to, take the riffle across. Sometimes I'll do it in a pattern of cross, back, cross, stay in cross, back, cross, back in a step. Heel, cross, back, cross, stay across, back, cross, back, step, heel. So that's a little thing for some footwork and also for that riffle sound. So if I go six, seven, eight, again, Again, to do that, the heel is always close to the floor, and I'm not picking the toe up high when I do the cross. Um, so that's the basic riffle. You can put that in a lot of things and to move on into your combinations. One thing we can add to it is to add a heel drop. It kind of slows it out a little bit, and it puts a heaviness to it. So I drop the opposite heel. After my riffle, heel. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. By taking in that pattern, and that's a riffle with a heel drop in the pattern. So that's a pretty simple step. Um, you can use it in lots of different formations. It's really good for how you work your feet and giving it a nice flexibility and control. There are other advanced riffles that we can do, but we're not going to do that in this video. We're going to save that for another video. Okay, so one more time on our riffle with the cross. Six, seven, eight. And we add the heel drop. That's the riffle, the riffle step in tap dance. My name is Bob Boros. This is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. If you like the videos, please click like. That really tells YouTube that this is good information and that it should be given to other people. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on the notifications bell so that you'll get an automatic notification every time I put on a new video. Okay. So thanks for watching. We'll be back very soon with another tap dance instructional video.